I read about this little girl who got a baboon heart transplant, not for cosmetic reasons. <laughs> she needed it, but it was a long time ago and they don't do it anymore, which I think is good, you know? I mean, can you imagine if your kid had a baboon heart? At some point, you'd have to tell them they had a baboon heart. That can't be an easy conversation to have. <laughs> Sweetie, you wanna come down off the jungle gym? <laughs> okay, put the banana down, this is important. <laughs> Let's talk about that red ass. <laughs> The other day, this homeless dude, he came up to me, he asked me for money to buy drugs. I found his honesty refreshing, I gave him the money. <laughs> then later I saw him buying a turkey sandwich. <laughs> you lying sack of shit. <laughs> Any homeless people here tonight? <laughs> Can't hear you with your mittens on. <laughs> dumb, it's a dumb joke. <laughs> I keep hearing these really horrible stories about homeless people that die and people just keep walking by them because they think, oh, they're just passed out drunk or on drugs or whatever. Are we that kind of world? Are we that callous? We can't take a couple seconds out of our day to kick a homeless person <laughs> and make sure they're alive. I give money to the homeless. It's hard though, you can't give money to every single homeless person that you come in contact with. You gotta make some tough choices out there, narrow it down in some way. I give money to homeless women, you know, because whenever I see a chick in that situation, I can't help but think, how is it possible that she never learned to give head? <laughs> Where was her mother? <laughs> I blame the parents. <laughs> Any hunters in the audience? Any hunters? No one with the last name Hunter? <laughs> I hunt, I hunt, I love to hunt. I grew up on a farm, so I love hunting, and uh, people think that's so cruel, you know? They think that's so, but the one thing you probably don't realize, and listen, this is something animal rights activists do not want you to know. The deer love it. <laughs> They're having a ball. The one thing I would never do is eat my kill. That's disgusting, <laughs> that is so gross. I'm a vegan, so ugh, I would never. I just leave it there. <laughs> it's biodegradable. <laughs> Love watching television. I was watching um, this television show and there was this chick on there. She'd slept with 300 men in a 24 hour time period. That was like her DVD. She was like a porn star. I hope she was a star. <laughs> That's a lot, 300, that's impressive. That takes commitment. I would get to like 264 and be like, this isn't really what I wanna do with my life. <laughs> I'm gonna get my driver's license. <laughs> do something. Hey, do you guys remember, and this was a while ago, so, um, do you remember when fat people used to be jolly? <laughs> it's like the 1900s. Those days are over. It must be so hard. It must be so hard being overweight in this world, you know? The other day I was watching, um, I don't know what the politically correct term is uh, for someone who's uh, so fat they can't see their penis. <laughs> person of size, person of size. I was watching a person of size trying to get out of their Honda and it made me feel so superior. <laughs> Not just because I'm thin, I also have a really nice car. <laughs> <laughs> I jog, I go at night. A lot of women are afraid to jog alone at night. I go naked. <laughs> I just think it's safer. <laughs> that way if there's any perverts around, they think I'm already being chased. <laughs> That's the nice thing about rapists, they're not competitive, you know. <laughs> Underachievers. I don't want to offend anybody, but I like rape jokes. I think they're funny, <laughs> so. I don't know why. I don't think it has anything to do with my own personal rape history. That was a long time ago. <laughs> I really feel like I dealt with it. I totally apologized. 